In this video, I'll show you how to replace the control unit for the rear HVAC in a Buick Enclave, Chevy Traverse, Saturn Outlook, or GMC Acadia from 2009 and after. Uh, this is our uh, Buick Enclave, but the procedure's uh, the same for the other vehicles GM made that were similar to the Enclave. Um, our HVAC unit in the rear started blowing only hot air, um, and I first thought it was a broken actuator in the back, um, but when I replaced the actuator, which was broken, I opened it up and saw there's a gear cracked in there. Um, I put the new actuator in, and it kept going to hot only, um, and even once it was on hot, kept trying to force it further to hot. Um, so what I realized um, after troubleshooting is that this unit is bad as well. Um, regardless of where you put the temperature control, it's always sending a signal to the back to put it on hot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace it with a new unit. Um, I highly recommend if you're going to do this and go to all the trouble of replacing this to put a brand new unit in if you can afford it. Um, you can buy used. I found this was maybe $20 to $50 more than a used part. Um, something like these that do go bad over time, I don't necessarily recommend going to the scrapyard for them. You may get some time out of it, but this, this one went at about 100,000 miles. If you're pulling one out of a car that's got 100,000 miles on it, it, may not have a lot of life in it, and you may end up finding you need to replace it again. So if you can afford it, go with a new unit like I did here. I'll put the part number for this part in the description of this video, and also put a link to some places that you can buy it as well. Uh, to actually replace this, uh, the procedure is not too bad. Um, you're going to slide this back, and there's some screws underneath here that need to be removed. I'll show you how to do that. Um, and then you're going to need to open the cover up and re remove some more screws from inside. If you need to know how to replace a blend door actuator for the rear HVAC, I'll put a link right up here where you can watch the video sh where I show how to do that as well. Start by sliding the armrest all the way back. And then look underneath and you'll find there's two Phillips screws right here and here. I'm going to remove those with a screwdriver. Next, open up the armrest and you'll see there are five screws in here. I'm going to remove all five of those with a Phillips screwdriver. There are two more screws right here and here in these recesses. Next, I'll remove those with, again, same Phillips screwdriver. There are two screws inside the, the recess here where you can store things. I'm going to go ahead and take those out. I'm going to need to get a shorter screwdriver to reach those. Again, they're Phillips screws. There are two more screws here and here that need to be removed. I'm going to use a shorter screwdriver to do that. Next, there are four hidden screws underneath this uh, fabric liner. This just lifts out. Now that those are removed, you can lift this off. And you'll see our last two screws are down here underneath um, that shelf we just removed. And that'll let this whole unit come off. So I'll remove these with a screwdriver as well. Now this will lift off. You can see we have two screws here that are retaining everything together. I'm going to go ahead and remove those. And this separates, so we can set this cover down. Um, and then I'm going to release this wire harness. There's a little tab you just push down and pull out. And you can see we have the control unit here attached by four more screws. So far, all these screws have been the same, so you don't need to keep them separate.
this control unit now lifts out and I can put the new control unit in and reassemble everything. I'm gonna put this one in, reconnect it to the wire harness, get it screwed in place. I'm gonna wait to reassemble everything till I've tested the whole system out with the blend doors. Um, but if it's just your unit you're replacing, you can go ahead and reassemble everything at once. Um, you can put the control unit in it sits nice and flush. If you try and put it in upside down, it won't sit flat. So it's kind of nice that they make it so you can only assemble it the correct way. I'm going to start the screws in by hand. And then to speed things up, I'm going to use a cordless drill on a really light clutch setting to drive the screws in. You can use a screwdriver. I'm just doing this to make the process go a little faster. Now that I have this module reassembled, I'm gonna connect the wire harness and um, reattach it into place. There are little pegs here that it drops over and I'm gonna put two screws in. I've tested out the system, so I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall um, this piece, and then I'll reinstall the armrest piece and make sure I get the two screws back underneath here. If you found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up and tell me about it in the comments. You can also put your questions in the comments and I'll try to respond to any questions that I get.